Hi there, I'm Andy Hillier and today's guitar lesson is on Le Festine by Camille uh, from Ratatouille. Um, I've done a cover version, so if you want to hear what it sounds like all the way through, go and check that out. I've got it in a separate video, so I'll put a link in the description down below. I'll also put a card above. Uh, so I'm going to teach you how to play the chords for the whole song. Just before I do though, if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my channel, give me a like on the video, uh, leave me some comments in the comment section including any songs you want to learn. Uh, and if you love what I'm doing and you want to print the tabs off for this, um, I'll put it on my Patreon page. I'll leave a link to that in the description as well. My guitar's in standard tuning and I've got a capo on fret number one. Uh, we've got quite a lot of lines to get through. We'll have to go reasonably fast for it or else the video's going to be um, really long. Uh, the first line goes like this. So for that we've got a D chord, which is your second finger, E2, first finger on G2, third finger on B3. And you're going to play the root note, so the lowest note, and then hit the chord twice, and then we go to a B minor chord, which is A2, second finger on B3, third finger D4, little finger on G4, and we're going to just hit that twice. And that, that rhythm goes uh, through the first three lines, so it's all like. So you're going to play that all the way through um, the chords. The next chord is E minor, which is just A2 and D2. Then an A chord, which is D2 with your first finger, G2 with your second finger, and B2 with your third finger. So if I play the first four bars, you get this. Then back to the E minor. Then we've got an A slash C sharp, which is your first finger, but across D, G, and the B strings at the second fret. Third finger, A4. Then it goes to G flat minor seven. Second finger, E2. Third finger across the G, uh, D, G, and B strings at the second fret. And then we go back to the B minor and then an A4 as a passing note, so it's that bar will go. So the whole line, we've got. On to the next line, back to the D chord. A slash C sharp. Uh, and then it goes to this A minor slash C chord, which is your first finger. Well, it's actually like an A minor chord with the C in the bass. So first finger, B1, second finger, D2, third finger, G2, and little finger on A3, that's the note C. So that's why it's an A minor slash C. And then we've got a B7 chord. This is the only um, chord that the rhythm sort of changes. We just play it once on the B7. So B7 is your little finger E2, third finger G2, second finger A2, first finger D1. Back to E minor, A chord, that G flat minor 7 again. And then it goes to a B7 chord, which is first, uh, a different inversion than the in bar 12. You could play the same inversion, but it sounds closer to the record if you do in bar 16 this. Um, inversion, which is your first finger bar across the second fret from the A string, third finger D4, little finger on B4. So this second line goes like this. On to the next line, uh, we're going to play the G chord, which is your little finger, well you can do uh, either G, you can put your third finger on E3, second finger on E3 nearer to your face, first finger A2, or you can do the one that I've written there with the little finger on E3, third finger B3, first finger A2, second finger E2, so either G, any G would be fine, then to an A chord, and then you see you've got four bars of D. So we play those four bars of D, and then it repeats 
all the way back to the beginning and plays all the way through up to this point and you play bars 17 and 18, so the first two bars of this line, and then you jump to bar 23, which is just a bar of A. So hopefully that makes sense. So you play the first two lines, then you play this line up to and including bar 22, and then you go all the way back to the beginning and play up to bar 18 inclusive and then jump to bar 23. Uh, and then we get on to the next section, which feels like the chorus of the song. The rhythm's changing slightly here, so we're gonna go down, down, up, down in each bar of this section. So D chord, A slash C sharp, A minor slash C, G, E minor, A, E minor. So it's all chords that we've used, so let's just try that. Ready, one, two, three. On to the next line, we've got uh, the same kind of chords going D, A slash C sharp, A minor slash C, G, E minor for two bars, then A for two bars. So it's very similar to the previous line, but just instead of going E minor A, E minor A, it's just the last four bars that go E minor, E minor, A, A. Um, and then you'll see there at bar um, 39, there's a repeat mark as well, which you just go back to the previous line and play from the previous line um, down. So let's just try that line, here we go. And. So like I say, you'll go then back to bar 24 uh, and go all the way through here. And then there's just this E3 in bar 40. And just play it one, two, three. And then we go on to the next section, which is, is a bit like the beginning part that we did. Same rhythm go one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two. Same idea. So we've got D, B minor, E minor, A, E minor, A slash C sharp, and then G flat minor seven, B minor, and then to the A four. So exactly the same as first line actually. So let's just try that, here we go. On to the next line. Similar idea, we're going D. A slash C sharp. A minor slash C. B7. E minor. A. G flat minor seven, B seven, then got G, A, and then an E three, you're just playing that one note, E three on the end. So let's just try that line, here we go. One, two, three. And the uh, last section, so we've got the same idea. D, A slash C sharp, A minor slash C, G, E minor, A, G flat minor seven to B seven. So let's try that line, here we go. One, two, three. And the last line, um, it's a strange chord, it's a B flat slash D chord. It's the same as your A slash C sharp, but upper fret. It's a bit of dissonant. Don't put any rhythm on that, uh, even though I did in my cover version, but just play the chord gently. Uh, and then go to an A chord for two bars. D for four bars. And that's the whole song. Hopefully you found this guitar lesson useful and enjoyed it and it's made sense. If it has, if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my channel, it really does help me out. 
Give me a like on the video. Uh, leave me some comments in the comment section. Let me know where in the world you're from, um, what songs I should do next. And if you love what I'm doing and you want to print this off, which would probably be a good idea uh, because there's loads to get through, um, I'll put it on my Patreon uh, account. I'll leave a link to that in the description down below. Thanks for watching this. I've been Andy Hillier and I'll see you next time.